Hello folks, Roger Daniel here for the Magnificent World of Toys. I am here outside of Mike Martinez's uh, Toy Depot here on this lovely Saturday morning here in Southern California. Um, so he's hosting these pop-up shops at his uh, warehouse, which is normally a Halloween store. And what he does is he invites vendors from all over Southern California, I mean basically from wherever, as well as collectors and anyone who wants to come and sell their stuff to basically come out here and sell their stuff. So I guess without further ado, let's go see what we can find here today. So as you can see, there was a significant amount of vintage toys at the Toy Depot pop-up shop. You really never know what you're gonna find. As I was able to find a lot of really cool things and many things that I really never thought I would find there. A lot of these vendors brought the fire. I was really impressed by the variety of really cool vintage things that were available. It's a lot of hard work, and Mike Martinez is doing the best he can to conduct these pop-up shops at least once a month. One of the best things about this pop-up shop, aside from all the great things you can find, is a sense of camaraderie here. A lot of these vendors and collectors come here and basically congregate, and everybody just has a lot of great conversations, a lot of fun, a lot of trades. I met a lot of great people, had some very great conversations, and overall had a wonderful experience. So as you can see, I'm wearing this really cool Ultimate Warrior shirt. This was actually compliments to Cody, Retro Barbarian, who I've kind of stumbled upon a couple times at Walmarts and things like that. And it was really nice to catch up with him at the Toy Depot pop-up shop and just talk toys and pick up some stuff from him. And, you know, thanks a lot, Cody, for the cool shirt. Really appreciate it, man. Um, so I guess uh, without further ado, I'd like to share some of the things that I picked up that day. And it was a lot of really awesome things so here it is first i want to start off with these calico rambo accessory sets both of these sets appear to be in very good condition and i got them for a very good deal from alberto muerto 80. next is this hikari japanese vinyl frankenstein's monster i picked this figure up from mike at toy depot he had several from this line and this one really stood out i'm not really a big fan of pops but this really doesn't look like a pop and it's just very impressive i love the packaging design and the overall look of the figure it's just really nice this was actually the first piece i bought the moment i walked in it caught my eye and this is the death clops by akashi toys and records i picked this one up from enemy planet and honestly the moment i saw it I knew I had to have it. What I really liked about this piece is that it came with two weapons and also two additional heads. Overall, a great piece. 
These next three pieces I picked up from Cody at Retro Barbarian. This is actually the Benson and Woody set from Toy Story 4. Benson was really my favorite character from the movie and I'm hoping to pick up one more someday. I also picked up this cool Swamp Thing glow in the dark figure as well as this vehicle. This Panda Con I picked up from Sun and Pop Collectibles. It was in very, very good condition and he sold it to me at an extremely great price. These next three pieces I picked up from my friend at Collector's Camelot. Conan the Adventurer was one of my favorite cartoon series growing up. It was really cool to see that he had these two figures of Conan and Grey Wolf packaged. I'm hoping to pick up the rest of the series sometime in the future. I also grabbed this Galaxy Warrior, I believe it is. And I also picked up these Modulock pieces and Multibot. I've never owned Multibot, so I'm hoping to someday find more pieces to complete him or just make a really big Multibot. And last but not least was this awesome Savage Sword of Conan the Barbarian. This was gifted to me by Knuckleheads Collectibles. He saw that I was scooping up a bunch of Conan stuff and he decided to give it to me and it's a really great book. The illustrations are amazing. Thank you again Knuckleheads Collectibles for this awesome gift. So as stated before, Mike Martinez is looking to do some more of these. He's trying to stick to a monthly schedule, although it is very difficult planning and putting these things together. So the best way to find out when he's going to be having these things is basically follow him on Instagram at toy.depot. Also, I'm going to leave a link where you can see the video we did of Mike Martinez, where he talks about his stores and shares his stories about collecting as a child and you know he's a really cool dude so be sure to check it out so that's about all for today thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing for your support and once again may those who play never gray see you soon